Hi Virgo, this is your September 5th or September 11th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. Uh, we have the Emperor clarified by the Sun. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Hierophant. And uh, we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries or a Taurus or an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Not only is it a general reading, it's a very impressive reading because I am impressed Virgo I and I think you so will you be you you'll definitely be impressed um, you've got the Emperor the very first card that came out the Emperor is the person coming into your life for some of you it could be somebody who is already in your life right but perhaps you're just uh, friends your acquaintances somebody you work with somebody you go to gym with somebody you go to yoga class with I don't know <laughs> right and uh, the thing about you guys, I know that you guys to, like to take things slow, to get to know the person, to have a plan, to schedule something, to plan ahead. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. This is actually one of your fortes, right? You are the best at planning. You are the best of, at executing something you've planned, right? Because with this person, it's just going to take off like a rocket, you know? It's like, this feels final. I don't see you resisting this person. I don't see you dragging your feet. I don't, I don't see that you, this person, you putting this person on hold while you plan things ahead, while you wrap your head around this person. So what that makes me think, you already know this person. You already know what they're all about. They do, they do not require an introduction. You do, not, you do not need to get to know them. That's for some of you. For others of you, it could be a new person. It could still be a brand new person. But, uh, you know, you'll be so impressed that you're going to be like, yes, absolutely. Let's move forward. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, the emperor. The emperor is above all kings. You know, the emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who is in control, somebody who doesn't take no for an answer. You know, they could be a very well-established individual. They may have a fantastic career. They could be a business owner. The emperor often comes through as a future husband or a future significant other figure. Definitely marriage material. And the emperor knows what he or she wants. And they want you, Virgo. They definitely know. They're crystal clear about that. As a matter of fact, they've made up their mind to uh, pursue you, to actually sweep you off your feet. Right, so first of all, the Emperor is clarified by the Sun. The Sun is a card of clarity. Like I said, this person is crystal clear that you are the one. And uh, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. This, uh, this card always talks about joy, success, happiness, feeling on top of the world. That's how they feel about you and that's what they're going to bring into your life as well. The three of ones, the next card over, is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. That's them. So now that they've made up their mind, made a decision, there is no turning back, that's it, it's final. <laughs> Here they come with the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands, so yes, they're coming in to win you over. The Knight of Swords could be an Air Sun, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's the fastest knight out of all four knights, it could symbolize travel. If this person is at a distance from you, they'll come see you, you know, they'll pay you a visit, but uh, this is them sweeping you off your feet. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, recognition, it's a card of attention, so you definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. They are completely focused on you and uh, they're focused on getting the show on the road with you as quickly as possible. We also have two aces on the table. The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is what it's all about, right? Perhaps uh, you had this person at hello or they've been harboring feelings for you for a while. The Ace of Cups is all about genuine, authentic love. Right? So they're, they're definitely love you. They're not a tyrant. They're not like, hey, my way or the highway. No. All of this is because they are in love with you and they want to make you happy. <laughs> they want to share their, hap their happiness with you, their resources with you. Whatever they've got, they're sharing it with you. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. You know what, uh, Virgo, it's not a potential. I think that you're definitely going to 
be committing to each other. Those are some this those are some serious cards. This whole spread is as serious as it gets. The Ace of Pentacles is the second ace in just one spread. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. The Six of Wands, by the way, used to be called the proposal card. So yeah, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from, from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, somebody who is serious as it gets. The Wheel of Fortune is the two of you taking it to the next level and starting a new cycle on the next level up. And what that next level is represented here by the Hierophant. Well, the Hierophant could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. So yeah, Virgo, like I said, I am impressed, and I think so will you be. You'll be impressed with uh, perhaps how this person behaves themselves, what they say, and most importantly, what they do, and how they do it. So yes. The answer is definitely yes, Virgo. <laughs> so hold on to something. This emperor is coming in. They're not taking no for an answer, but I think you're going to be on board because uh, you will really like what this person is all about, how they treat you, how they behave towards you, and all that good stuff. No extended for you, Virgo. Really happy. Congratulations. Virgo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by Judgment. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by Justice and the Fool. And we have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Um, you are waiting for somebody or, or, or an organization to make a judgment call, right? And uh, this week, it's finally coming your way. I don't, I don't think it's anything like really bad, but for some of you, you could be in the middle of a lawsuit, perhaps you're suing a company, or you're suing your neighbor, you're suing your landlord, or something along those lines, right? There could be a class action suit going on here. Um, or say you want to remodel your house, and uh, you have to get a permit uh, from your city, or your county, or your state, and uh, you already filed for that, and you're waiting for an answer. Something like that. It, it feels kind of serious, but at the same time, not dramatic. Right, so the Two of Pentacles clarified by Judgment. This is somebody who is trying to make a decision. Judgment is a, a, a judgment call, right? The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. I think it's a card of something you're not aware of. You're not, you're, you don't know what the verdict, what the decision is going to be. Right, and uh, you're pa but at the same time you're still patiently waiting. The Seven of Pentacles is in the middle is a card of waiting. So here comes the answer. The Eight of Wands clarified by Justice and uh, the Fool, this is the answer. And I think it's going to go in your favor, right? Because uh, those are some good cards. <laughs> the Eight of Wands is a communication card, a phone call, a letter, uh, an email, what have you. Justice with the Fool, yes. Here comes Judgment, right? Justice is kind of similar to Judgment in this particular case. Justice could be um, a government organization, right? Or uh, literally uh, a courthouse, right? judicial system. And uh, the full clarifying that is, uh, yeah, the answer is yes. So now you can move forward. Now you are no longer waiting. Now you are going to do what, whatever it is you wanted to do based on this judgment. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. All right. Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past video Virgo this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the King of Cups, clarified by Justice. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Libra, or even another Virgo. Right, so you've got this King of Cups who is going to be trying to get back into your good graces, right? Uh, the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. If they're not a water sign, they could be a Libra. <laughs> Justice clarifying the King of Cups is a Libra card. Um, but they could also be somebody who is uh, in control of their emotions, somebody who, who is mature. For some of you, they may have um, an issue expressing themselves. But uh, they will finally be able to express an apology. <laughs> when they come back. Justice, clarifying that King of Cups is not only a Libra card, it could be a card of a major, major apology coming from them. This is them wanting to make things right with you, wanting to get back together with you. And uh, this person is actually your soulmate, to be fair, right? The, t the Two of Cups and this card over is clarified by the Six of Cups. Both of those two cards are soulmate cards, right? And uh, the Six of Cups is also a card of somebody coming back from the past. 
And there you are, Virgo, the Hermit card, that is your major arcana card. You will have to make a decision, right? Uh, first of all, uh, your card is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And I think both of those two cards belong to you, and both of them are decision-making cards. You know, whenever cards like that come out, uh, with the uh, two decision or uh, two choice cards, you'll be okay either way. You know, my personal experience says you'll be okay either way. It all depends on how you feel and what they did to you, right? If you can forgive and forget, you, perhaps you can give them a second chance. Other than that, you'll be fine. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Virgo. Uh, this week we have the Five of Pentacles, we have Strength, uh, we have uh, the Six of Wands clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, this is a victory. This is like the end of a long journey for you. And uh, by the end, I mean you're going to reach that financial level you always wanted to reach, you know. That's, that's it. <laughs> anyway, the Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is a card of uh, somebody who is, you know, doesn't have enough money, somebody who is sacrificing things. Uh, perhaps you had to work really hard, you stayed home or you stayed at work when, uh, when all your friends went out and celebrated. You just kept going, right? You, even though you did feel left out in the cold, but uh, you just kept pushing. Right? You, you just kept persevering. Strength, the next card over, is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo, but strength could be a, literally strength for you to move forward, to push, to, you know, keep, uh, keep working, keep doing whatever it was you were working on, right? Perseverance, right? And uh, here comes the victory. The Six of Wands, qualified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Those three cards are talking about victory, success, financial abundance. Uh, perhaps you're finally getting the job you always wanted, or you're getting a promotion, you're getting a raise, right? You will definitely, or if you run your own business, you're finally, your business is finally starting to make real money. The Knight of Pentacles is real money, cash money, hundred dollar bills, hundred pound bills, hundred euro bills, what have you. <laughs> the Six of Wands is a kind of victory, success, recognition. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is uh, a pile of cash, right? Financial abundance. The Ten is the uh, end goal, right? So that's what you're reaching this week. So all that hard work is finally paying off this week. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Virgo, this week. We have the Magician, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Chariot and the Four of Wands. And we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. This is pretty much a repeat of the new love spread, right? This is uh, the same thing, same deal, same person, in just in a scaled down version, <laughs> right? So that's one heck of a birthday present, right, Virgo? Happy birthday if you're celebrating this week. <laughs> if you're not celebrating this week, it's still a really good deal, if you ask me. Anyway, yeah, um, let's go over it real quick so we don't waste your time. Uh, the Emperor on the bottom of the deck, it's the person coming in. Uh, we had the Emperor in the first spread. This is a different deck. By the way, I use different decks for different spreads. Same story, right? The Six of Wands is a victory card all the way to your left. The Magician is a card of manifestation, but at the same time taking action. The Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal, so expect all kinds of good things coming from them. The Wheel of Fortune is starting a new cycle. It's a very fortunate new cycle. The word fortune is there for a reason. The Ace of Cups is all about love. That's what it's all about. They love you. The Chariot is a card of victory and success, just like the Six of Wands. And um, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. And the four of wands is one of the commitment and marriage cards. So yes, <laughs> see, well, I think I did it in 30 seconds, <laughs> right? But you know all the details uh, from the first spread. All right, so yeah, what you're not expecting is this emperor, this person coming in, and uh, they're not going to take no for an answer. And you're going to be impressed. I'm impressed, right? So yeah, really good deal. For your birthday if it is your birthday all right virgo so yes that's what i have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe happy birthday one more one more time and other than that virgo have an amazing week